Hey everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to go over creating a Ryder Cup tournament. So from the competitions, tap the green plus button, create new tournament, give it a name, choose Ryder Cup from the team format, tap create, and we're in. Next thing we'll want to do is to add the players to our tournament. Create new users. Now that we've added four users, we can tap done, and we can see all four users have been added to our tournament. The next thing we're going to want to do is tap the leaderboard tab and add the tournament rounds. If your tournament spans multiple days, you can add a tournament round for each day in your tournament, and you can also choose the game type that you want to play for each round in the tournament. So for this example, we'll tap the green plus button, add tournament round, here's the course, tees we're playing from, and the game type. So in round one, let's do a match play, which is a one versus one. And tap create. We've added the first round and let's add another tournament round. And in round two let's play four ball. And you can see that we have both rounds created now. If you ever want to go back in and edit the tournament rounds you can either just tap here or from the gear icon and tap round one and you can change the game type at any time so now we will add our players to the teams you can do that in two ways you can just tap the name add user to team or you can tap the team name edit team, plus button, and add the players. Now that we've got our team set up and our tournament round set up, the next thing we're going to want to do is to set up the tee times and the matchups. So if we go to the groups tab, we can see we have round one and round two. So in round one, We'll create the tee times. I'll have rider one versus rider three. Now this has added all four players to the tee time and the matches have automatically been generated. If you want to change these matches, you can. You can just tap on the name and change the players around. We'll leave it like that for now. And in round two, we'll do the same thing. We'll create our tee times, add our players, And again, you can see that the matches were automatically generated. And now we're all set up and ready to go. On the day of the tournament, the players can tap the green plus button beside their name. And it will be brought to their scorecard, where they can start entering their scores. You can see the results of each match by tapping on the chips at the top. And if we go back to the scorecard, we can see the results of the matches. 
Once the matches are done and the results have been calculated, points will be added to the Ryder Cup teams based on the win-loss tie points. You can change the win-loss tie points for each round in the tournament by tapping on the round number, scrolling down to win-loss tie points, and editing the points for a win, tie, and a loss. You can also change the scoring type if you want to play with stroke play or stable third instead of match play. And that's it. That's the intro to creating a Ryder Cup tournament.